Okay, hi everyone. This is DV Systems webinar series. This is our first ever webinar, so we're very excited. Thank you for joining us. We've got 22 people here already, so I'm just going to start. My name is Bogu Strakowski. I'm the marketing manager at DV Systems, and I'm going to be accompanied by Luke Thrush, our design engineer. Good morning, everyone. So good morning, good morning. Let us begin. Let's first talk about our agenda. We're going to start off with a brief overview of uh, the features of the C-Series, C10 and C15. Then we're going to go over to a video walk around of the key features, after which we will review the main product design changes. Then we're going to talk briefly about the C-Series value proposition and conclude with a Q&A sessions where we will take audience questions. So let's proceed with our webinar. So the C-Series C10, C15 rotary screw air compressor. It comes in two horsepowers, 10 horsepower and 15 horsepower, and it has powerful delivery of 39 SCFM to 57 SCFM, and it does this extremely quietly, clocking in at 65 dBA to 69 dBA. So we're very excited to introduce um, a, the new variable speed drive option for our C C15 air compressor. So now the C-Series comes in both variable speed and fixed speed belt drive technology. It also features the CSC300 LCD advanced control solution, as do all of our other rotary screw air compressors, save for the B5 and 7.5 rotary screw air compressor. The C-Series also comes along with an integrated air after cooler, which effectively cools air and enhances system efficiency. The C-Series is a solid and silent uh, construction and design featuring rugged construction and quiet operation. It's an easily serviceable unit um, with innovative component design. Um, and the C-Series, along with all of our other rotary screw air compressors, comes along with a five-year extended warranty at no additional cost. All you have to do is register your air compressor online within 30 days of purchase, maintain it properly according to the service manual, and using only official DV systems parts and kits. The C-Series also features a 120-gallon air receiver. So let's talk about the C-Series configurations that are available. The C-Series comes along in three configurations, the base-mounted version, tank-mounted, and air system. So the base-mounted configuration is only the air compressor, and it does not come along with an air receiver or air dryer. The tank-mounted unit includes our 120-gallon air receiver, and the air system, the complete um, air system package includes an 120 gallon air receiver, um, an air dryer, which is either the ProDry ASD 40 or 60, depending on the 10 horsepower or 15 horsepower model, uh, along with a uh, 3 micron pre filter. So let's talk a little bit about um, how unique the air system configuration is, um, specifically in terms of what we like to call the dry tank design. So what is a dry tank design? It's a unique compressed air system configuration developed by DV Systems. It delivers clean, dry, compressed air continuously, consistently, and directly to the air receiver by employing the combination of a filter and dryer. This configuration ensures that the tank is virtually dry, achieving not only an unprecedented level in the abatement of corrosion, but also maximizes the capacity of the tank for its intended use, to store and provide continuously cool, clean, and dry air for your required applications reliably and consistently. So we can see here that the air um, is delivered out of the air compressor, and that actually leaves our dual function air after cooler and oil cooler, which contributes to the production of discharge air temperatures as low as 15 degrees above ambient, which reduces the energy consumed by the air dryer, um, promoting system reliability and, and, and extending its air receiver's life. So the air leaves the air compressor, it goes into the three micron pre-filter, now the clean air then goes into the air dryer, and now the dry, cool, clean air enters the air receiver, and that's what we call a dry tank. So moving on, um, let's start talking about uh, the new energy efficient option of the C15 C-Series rotary screw air compressor. 
So the C15 comes in variable speed drive technology, and what this does is increase air savings by aligning energy use with air demand. How does it do this? Where is the value savings here? Well, it eliminates inrush currents uh, spikes on startup. The, uh, the motor starts gradually on startup. Um, it eliminates something called artificial demand. The VSD's pressure tracking controls uh, ensure that energy use is optimized by producing only as much air as is needed at set pressure. So the, this variable speed drive technology option is ideal for continue, continuous use and varying um, air demand applications by delivering maximum operating flexibility with efficient full and part load performance. Um, it also integrates numerous power monitoring and fault protection technologies, making it extremely safe. Um, so integral to the VSD variable speed drive option is the CSC 300 controller. This is our advanced LCD control solution. This um, control solution effectively manages, monitors, and maintains optimal operational parameters to ensure stable system pressure and reliable operation. So some of the features um, of the CSC 300 controller are the fact that it has remote stop-start operation. It's got a real-time clock with advanced run schedule. Um, it's, you can optionally sequence up to eight compressors with it. Um, it's also web-enabled system control. It's got a current or amperage draw display, uh, features remote fault signals and power failure restart capabilities. It's got a service maintenance reminder along with advanced motor and phase protection. So here is Luke Thrush, our design engineer, and he will review um, the C-Series internal components. Okay, hi everyone. Um, so we'll just start at the top here. Uh, this is the air filter where the air enters the system. Um, you have the intake valve underneath that, and those are mounted on the air end here. Um, we have the steel tubes coming into the our integrated manifold, which has our oil filter on the left and the air oil separator on the right. Um, you have your safety valve and scavenge line here as well. And it also has the minimum pressure valve and thermal valve in our integrated manifold. And the manifold sits on top of our air oil receiver. Um, here you have the oil fill cap, um, which you can screw off to um, add the oil to the system. Um, you have your drain tube and valve, uh, where you can use this in oil changes. And you're also looking at right here is the, the oil sight glass, um, which indicates the, the level of oil. On uh, the back is a high efficiency motor, and we have that attached to our motor air end frame. And all this is on the isolators, um, on the, the frame, and also the air oil separator. Okay, this is from the, uh, the left side. You see the belts and pulley system. Um, this is the air end pulley and the motor pulley. And this is our one point tensioning system. Um, so there is a single point that pushes the air end away from the motor to tension the belts. And again, you have your intake valve. Um, this is the, the clamp for the air filter. Um, so you just loosen this clamp and that'll allow you to remove the air filter. Uh, you have the solenoid at the back. Um, this is our scavenge line assembly, which includes the orifice. Um, the inline filter and a check valve and beneath the air end is your temperature sensor um, and also again this is your high efficiency motor, um, the oil fill plug and the oil fill drain and valve. This is a rear view of our compressor. Um, this is the, the air intake um, where the air, outside air enters the system. Um, one feature to mention here is we've added some inserts to allow easy mounting of any kind of ducting into the unit. Um, at the back we have the steel tube which brings the air from the compressor through the filter into the dryer. Um, also on the dryer you see here is the dryer nameplate which has the model number and serial number of the dryer. Um, along with that, uh, this is the nameplate of the unit itself, which has the model number and serial number, um, which is we can use this information to register your, your compressor online. Okay, now so now we're going to do a quick walk around of the, the C15 unit. Um, 
So this will show the internal components of the C-series. Um, so here you see the control panel on the right, and um, on the left side you have the air oil separator tank with the oil, oil uh, filter and air oil separator filter, along with the integrated manifold. Um, housing the safety valve, minimum pressure valve, and thermal valve. Here is the air end with the intake valve and air filter on top. You also see a stainless steel flexi hose there to deliver the air to the air tank. Um, this is the premium efficiency motor. And again, we're looking at the, the steel tubes, um, which is a, a new design for us here on this unit, a nice clean design. Um, this is the belt and pulley setup uh, with our single point tensioning to push the air end away from the motor. Uh, this is all mounted on the, the frame with isolators and you see here the intake valve, uh, air filter and solenoid and um, the, the, the hose clamp to remove the filter. Uh, here is the, the oil fill drain and plug and this is a, at the back here you see the baffling for the incoming air and the fan shroud and also the, the steel tubes um, which bring the air up into the, um, the after cooler um, which allows the, the air to be reduced in temperature by about 15 degrees um, before it leaves the system. And that was our walk around. Now this is showing uh, the easily serviceable unit. We just removed the front panel, um, which exposes the, the filters. Um, on the left side, you have the oil filter. Simply spin the filter off and you can remove that. The air oil separator filter is on the right. To remove that, um, there's just a plastic cap on the top of the cabinet. You remove that and then you can simply spin off the filter and remove it through the top of the cabinet. And you also have the oil drain tube and valve um, to use during oil changes. Um, the oil fill plug is there as well, easily accessible, and the oil set glass as well, showing the uh, oil level indicator. Um, also, so towards the back of the unit, it's kind of difficult to see, but you have the air filter um, as I mentioned, there's a, a clamp there that you can simply loosen and the air filter will be easily removable. Okay, and that's pretty much uh, all the service there that is behind that panel. Thank you very much. Thank you, Luke. So let's uh, continue on and review some of the key product design changes on the new C-Series C10 and C15 rotary screw air compressor. So we have the new variable speed drive option for the C15, which improves its energy efficiency. We have the angled front panel, which improves the visibility um, interactivity with the CSC300 uh, controller. Um, the C series, the new C series features a new air end with improved and increased efficiency. Um, we have increased ruggedness um, due to the introduction of steel tubes now. Um, there's also an integrated MPV thermostatic bypass valve, oil filter, and separator filter manifold. Um, we also have the internal oil return tube in the air oil separator tank, along with a single braided stainless steel flexly hose at the air end discharge. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the C-Series main value proposition and that is its improved energy efficiency uh, because of the variable, spe variable speed drive option. So VSDs allow you to actually reduce the total life cycle costs of compressed air system by 24%. So comparatively between a VSD and a full voltage start compressor, the VSD is typically more expensive. But when you look at the total life cycle costs of an actual air compressed system, the VSD offers considerable um, energy saving and cost saving opportunities. And how does it do this? Uh, it does this by mainly aligning energy use with air demand. So you're basically just producing as much air as you need at set pressure. The VSDs draw power in direct proportion to the load with energy consumption approximating 0% at no load versus 13 to 85% at full load consumption. Um, another point is the elimination of inrush current spikes on startup. Um, the VSDs gradually start the motor with, uh, with a gradual speed increase on startup, and this contributes to the overall energy efficiency of operation. 
And lastly, um, the VSDs allow you to reduce system pressure, eliminating artificial demand. So remember that each two PSI of pressure reduction in system pressure equals a 1% reduction in energy consumption. So that's savings right there. Moving on, let's start talking about um, the variable speed drive versus full voltage start drives, uh, specifically when it comes to its starting current. So on the graph to the right, the gray line um, signifies the full voltage start air compressor. You can see at the very beginning um, that there is actually a inrush current spike on startup. And that's typically seven times um, the current on the nameplate amps. So uh, comparatively, the orange line signifies a variable speed drive air compressor. And you can see that the variable speed drive air compressor starts the motor with a gradual speed increase, eliminating current spikes on startup and consequently reducing your electricity costs. Let's go ahead and move on to um, talking about eliminating artificial demand with variable speed drives. So what really is artificial demand? Typically, that's when your air system is overpressurized and you're producing more pressure than you need to actually service the demand of your shop or your application. So remember that the VSDs maintain the operating pressure within one PSI. So if you look on this graph to the right, the sinusoidal line represents a load, no load um, air compressor and the straight orange line moving across at 135 PSI represents a variable speed drive air compressor. So the shaded areas in the, the orange shaded areas actually signify all of your energy savings. So those shaded areas are your artificial demand. And if you do employ a VSD, you will be eliminating those areas because the set pressure um, is maintained within one PSI. So typically VSDs allow pressure to be set 20% lower versus load, no load um, air compressors. And remember again that each two PSI of pressure reduction equals a 1% increase in energy, energy savings. So a 20% reduction in pressure would um, result in 10% um, energy savings. So here are our available models for the C-Series rotary screw air compressor. The various speed drive models uh, remember are for the C-15, the 15 horsepower, and they come in the base mounted uh, tank mounted and air system uh, configurations and the fixed speed models um, you can see it below here on the second chart and it's both the fixed speed models come in 10 horsepower and 15 horsepower models with all of our configurations so base mounted tank mounted and air system so let's do a quick recap of the key features of the c-series it has a new energy-efficient energy variable speed drive model. It has improved ruggedness and reliability, um, and that's uh, specifically related to the introduction of steel tubes, etc. It has powerful delivery from 39 to 57 SCFM, 10 horsepower to 15 horsepower. Um, it has a large air receiver. It's a 120-gallon tank, and it's extremely quiet for its power. Um, evidencing 65 to 69 decibels for the 10 and 15 horsepower, respectively. So now we're going to move on to our question and answer period.